hey, welcome back to another exciting episode of Gaming Wisconsin, boy. Um, today I am... Uh, Jesus, gotta reach for the beer. For fuck's sake. Uh, I'm playing Ninja Gaiden 1 on the Ninja Gaiden Trilogy game for Super Nintendo. I'm also drinking Samuel Adams Hopscape. It's kind of Samuel Adams' version of an IPA. I don't know. See how it is, and we'll give this bitch a pour, and... Hopefully it's good. I generally like Sam Adam, so... There you go, I got a couple bottles. Cheers. Alrighty, I'm gonna start us off here. So Ninja Gaiden 1... is a game I've beaten this a couple times. Um, I'm just gonna skip through the cutscenes. I remember the game. So I beat this a couple of times. Uh, this game is hard as balls. It really is not new friendly by any means. It's one of those uh, classic Nintendo. Oh shit! Classic Nintendo hard type of games. So, one of the big complaints about this game, um, it's not regarded as like one of those like holy shit top tier NES games, it's like right up there. Um, but I, I think a lot of people really like the uh, the second and the third Ninja Gaiden maybe even better. Um, and they each like have their own type of difficulties to them. The Ninja Gaiden 1 is basically just really hard because it's unfair as hell. And you'll see why uh, later in the game. So it starts out pretty, pretty easy, nothing too special, and then the difficulty like ramps up quick. So you're gonna see, like, I'll, I'll probably die quite a few times, so don't expect like the perfect speedrunning gameplay here. But you'll also see a lot of places where the enemies just respawn, like, endlessly. And it's hard to do a lot of dodges in this game. Yeah. So you do get checkpoints, so when you do die, you get you get a lot of oh shit. So yeah, I finally got- oh shit. Balls, ball balls. <laughs> I've finally gotten the time to really sit down and play more of my games again. Um, I've been just like going way too ham and- That's a bug. I, I didn't press a single button other than up and I died right there. That's just a good old Nintendo bug. So yeah, Ninja Gaiden does have a couple bugs like that on the ladders, but there's really, I don't know what caused it. I don't know if there's anything you can do to stop it. But yeah, I've been like, pretty much going crazy and collecting recently, so I haven't really sat down and played all the games that I wanted to. But, I'm getting that time back right now to really do that, so... <laughs> anyway... The AI in this game is extremely stupid. Everything has somewhat of a set that. God damn it. I'm just gonna kill myself. Apparently I just, like, didn't jump right there. Who knows? I finally got some time away from collecting, just to, just to sit down and start playing games again. Because um, I really want to get through a lot of my NES collection. I have just about 350 cards right now, so a little under half of the license library, I guess. Yeah, 
No, I should have kept that, because for the boss that instant kills him. Uh, I clocked it out right now, I got quite a stack of shit to pay through. So I'm not I'm not gonna be tackling games in any like particular order. I'm just gonna kinda go with what I feel like at any given day. So, like right now I'm kind of on like a Nintendo kick. I'm playing this on the SNES, because I, I like this version. I like the graphical updates. Um, it looks a little bit crisper to me. My that was my bad. I want to put more money in the collecting. I don't want to like... Okay, I gotta wait for these bullets. But yeah, I don't want to put money into like mods. Right Stuck on birds a lot for that one. So I think one of those might be the spin shot. The spin shot does one hit kill bosses. So you always want it if you can get it. But. That one just always screws up the thing. I wait for that, I wait for that dude, and then I gotta do the spin. Okay. That part doesn't seem that hard, but you can actually get pretty fucked over there. So this is just kinda how you beat the boss. You don't, don't bother chasing it. The patterns don't change. I could have done that the first time. So those are point bags, by the way. They're completely useless. You don't need lives in this game. So the bats, you always gotta wait for. Um, if you kill them, you, they usually just respawn right away. So I'm just gonna take a hit. And this is pretty much the end of this level. Yeah, right here. Right. So a little bit about Sam Adams Hopscape, I guess we'll take a second. Um, like I said before, it's kind of their version of the IPA. It's not very strong, it doesn't have a big aftertaste, it doesn't have a lot of that like thick IPA um, taste to it. It doesn't have that big body. Um, it's not bad, I would say it's kind of like that beginner IPA type of, type of brew. Oh shit, I don't want to go down here. Oh, my God. 
So I think they changed up this music a little bit. like the AVGN episode about this game. It is fairly accurate because it, it's that hard. This might not look like much yet, but it gets like it's completely Nintendo hard bullshit later on. I want to say that that's actually like... Sometimes you just don't make the jumps. Alright, made the jump. So this is pretty much like the last of the really easy stages. After this it gets pretty... I mean, even this right here is actually kind of fun. I, I don't mind taking some damage, honestly. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. that's like a really easy boss fight for me so I don't know what the issue was those previous few times so this is when the game starts getting I you know I shouldn't say starts getting because it's like I just like got my ass kicked by the last stage but this is when it actually starts getting difficult This is where you gotta start turning into the fucking Ninja Master. Yeah, that guy hurts like a bitch. I kind of forgot he was gonna be right there. Go! Gotta get the wire.
the fuck are those guys following me now? No, no, what the fuck? What the f- Whatever. Kill me? Okay. Huh. That's one way to do it. If you had the spin attack, you're basically golden at all points. Right here, it actually starts getting really, really, really difficult in the next... Is it the next portion? Okay, well this one has the flying cubes, which is hell. This guy will kill himself. This, this part... Is usually actually the worst. Like, look at this. I, I literally can't get down. Like, so this level has, like, tons of walls everywhere, including invisible walls that you can just get stuck on. So you have to really... I don't know. Um, there's one more tricky part in there, and then this part just sucks. Fucking wall. Get the hell get off the wall. Oh god. Yeah, one one piece of advice in this game is never, ever go backwards. Everything will respawn on you. And like they'll just keep endlessly respawning. There's no no pattern or anything to it. It's see it on a fucking wall that doesn't actually exist. Gotta wait for the bat. And here I gotta wait for the bat and the dip. Yeah, there we go. And take a couple of hits, whatever. And this section is just a straight run through. And we get on the other side and we're good. We get up here and we're fine. Uh, this section, there's absolutely nothing to it. Uh, this just gets you to the, to the boss of this stage, which I actually personally think is probably the hardest boss in the game. Um, it's this dude. He quote unquote killed your father, but didn't. Okay, I was able to just not last him. One more hit, and I would have been dead. You can kind of do that sometimes, and sometimes not. His little balls are almost impossible to defend. So I got pretty lucky there. I'm on six one. What the fuck? I'm not having the worst playthrough by any means. Really not. I've died quite a few times, but not... You know, not in that, like, that horribly frustrating, like, wanna die type of way. <laughs> Shit, right on ninja power. Whoa. Not. So you don't really have invincibility frames in this game. Like you kind of do and you mostly don't. Or like, most games will give you a, a second, a half a second. This game just says, fuck that shit, you're playing Ninja Gaiden. Fuck you, fucking. Just want invincibility frames, you pussy. Here. This section can be pretty difficult. I want the spin attack for this one. I 
this one. I'll need the spin attack for, uh, first of all. And I mean, you definitely need it for the boss. You almost have to have it for the boss. Um, the boss has three stages. It's basically the Frieza of Ninja Gaiden. Um, first stage, you can definitely beat without it, or without the spin attack. It's not that bad. Oh shit, actually, okay. Perfect. All right, so I got the six three. That's exactly what I want. From here on, um, I'm completely fine. Like, I, I'm actually gonna die purposely right here. Oops. So I pretty much automatically am able to get or to, to beat the game from here. Now there are a couple things I want to do. I might have to face the boss more than once. That one's good, yep. Yeah. So the boss has three forms. And I can't remember... After one of the forms, you kind of like lose a power-up. I can't remember which form that is. This third form's easy. Uh, the second form is like impossible. I basically have to get to the end boss using this uh, spinner. Perfect. Oh, all right. I'm basically at that point where I can't take stupid hits right now. Get up. <laughs> oh my god. Shit, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know how you're supposed to do this without, like, getting hit once. For fuck's sake, I can't fucking jump accurately. I'm having problems. Those guys are the fucking worst. This could be horrible for me. So I'm just high enough. Okay, they did fill up my life. I didn't realize that they knew that. You know, I'm having issues. Fuck! I cannot jump right now. I'm like, I keep getting caught on those ledges. That's how I keep getting fucked up with the bird on 6-3, too. What the f- <laughs> Alright, so that's four one If I die right now, that's absolutely fine. Because I would pretty much do it anyway. So I lose my power up on this. Alright. 
And this is pretty much impossible to dodge. Like, they, they follow you. Like, yeah. Like, I have no idea. That guy pretty much requires a spin attack. There is a way to beat him. And, like, speedrunners of the game know how to do it. I have no clue. You know, that, that shit's, like, too advanced for me. I've watched videos. I can't figure out. Back to 6-3. I'm not gonna fuck it up this time. So I'm gonna die on purpose. Pretty spawn, get my spin attack, keep my spin attack, one shot the boss, kill a second form, and be done with this fucking game. Yeah! That's my plan. We got it all worked out. Nothing can go wrong. So what you don't, which I, I, I'm going to just cut it out of this, but what you didn't see is I just made it with the spin attack to the second boss, but the candle thing right before his room had a power up in it, and I actually spun into it and got rid of my spin attack right when I was entering the door for the last boss. So, um, yeah, I made it to the last boss without it, died, you know, pretty instantly. And that was that. Pretty lame. Ah. So I usually want to get there without spawning that last guy. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. But... Oh, there. For some reason, like, that jump I'm really bad at making. I don't know why, it's just like you lose momentum a tiny bit. I'm gonna go this way again, it was pretty successful last time. So, okay, this should be perfect. I wanna find a way to fuck it up, but I'm gonna go slow, kill dudes when they spawn, and just sprint to the last boss. No, last boss. One shot the last boss. Even if I die, even if I somehow die in the, on the last form, it's fine, because I'm just going to face the last form again um, after 6-3. So not, not really a big deal. So I'm going to get rid of its little shrimp tail. And then you got to get rid of its head. So it maxes out the life again, which is awesome. gonna die. Wow, I actually died to him. Normally that's... I was like... Fuck, I was so far off in those slashes. Little of those slashes. Um, I, I shouldn't have died to him.
Alright, so... I've made it back to 6-3 again. I don't know, I've died on the last boss... More, more, way more than I should have by now. He's not that hard, I don't know what the hell I keep doing wrong. But I have to pretty much stop doing it wrong. For my own sake, for my, for my mind here. I'm going crazy. Uh, so the last guy, you can take the spin attack in, you don't get full health. Um, so that's something I kind of forgot. That part really shouldn't be that hard, but it is. I, I don't know why that little thing is like so hard to get up. There we go this way. Not sure where that thing didn't spawn up there, that's new. Alright, just have to make it to the end boss here. Okay. Okay, I got this, goddammit. Got it! Okay. Ugh. Finally! The rock has come back! Um... For fuck's sake. Okay. That took way too long. Um, this game is hard as balls. If you're not used to Ninja Gaiden... Like, I'm used to it, but I still suck at it. Um... It's, it's a pure muscle memory game, it's not easy, it's not beginner friendly. It's your classic Nintendo hard with an extra couple middle fingers and a kick to the balls. Yeah, it's definitely something. Um, me personally, I give it a 3 out of 5. I'm sorry, a 3.5, maybe a... 3 out of 5. Somewhere between a 3.5 and, and a 4. So like a, a 3, 3.75 stars out of 5. Um, the soundtrack is great. Uh, the gameplay is pretty crisp. It's kind of like your classic Nintendo game. It's your Nintendo hard. It's just... Whatever. It's Ninja Gaiden. If you have an NES, you have to own the game. You have to play it. You have to try to beat it. And you have to be frustrated at it. It's hard and it's going to make you scream fuck like a thousand times. Give it a try. I, you know, it's not my favorite game on NES, but it's it's worthy of, of being one of those top tier games. Um, Sammy Autumn's Hop Scale. It's okay. It's like a generic IPA. Nothing special to it. That's about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and down this new glass, I guess. Hey, take a second. I'm gonna enjoy the scenery and the nice cutscenes. So these are the cutscenes from the NES version, just with a little bit, you know, sharper graphics, if you will. But you know, for NES, these cutscenes were really revolutionary, and they kind of shaped gaming as it went along a lot. You got a much better story out of games. You got longer cutscenes in between levels. Um, we started getting more characters. Like, you know, Ninja Gaiden really did pave the way for a lot of those games. Um, it, it's good. Ninja Gaiden 2 and 3 are kind of... They made them harder in ways. They took away continues and stuff. But they made them more forgiving. They, they took away the whole, like, respawning aspect out of all the enemies. Which, in turn, like, makes the game way easier. But they put in more stage hazardy type of shit, so... I kind of like it better, but this is still a classic. You have to play it. Whatever.
So he's making out with this chick. I'm just trying to piece the end of the story. He just made out with this chick without even knowing her name. This dude's a player. Reuse the shit. And there it is. That is what you're looking for. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Ninja Gaiden. This is Sammy Adams Hopscape. I would probably skip it if you're... Even if you're a fan of IPA or not a fan of IPA, you don't need to have it. Don't worry about it. Skippable beer, 2 out of 5. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy, try to find it if you can, it's rare as balls. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great night. Peace.